And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros Give It All. We're at part three out of four for our seasonal tournament practice. Uh, last part didn't go so well. We, we played against the decks that go really big and they had some really awesome hands. Um, and so we are we are losing, you know, there were, um, there's some, the kind of decks that I'm planning on banning during the tournament, but they had great hands and, uh, yeah, didn't go our way, but we're going to get back at it. Let's get some more good practice in and let, let's play five more games with our Poros. We have found that whenever we have been playing at give it all, we've been doing really well. And when we haven't been playing give it all, not so much. So let's try to play some more give it all. So here we go. All right, this will be another good test, the, the Fiora Shen matchup, which we played a real close game last time and ended up losing it to Fiora Shen. So let's uh, play another one, see how it goes. Come on, opponent. There we go. All right, looks like our Poros are mighty. Poros are mighty. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hopefully this works. but never breaks. Mm. So while I want to play another Mighty Pora, I want to have the Troll Chant available. Plan on making some 3 3 elusives. I don't think they play Sharp Sight. All right, well, they definitely play Sharp Sight, but you think they're going to, you know, like fight? I could attack for two. That would open me up into a Sharp Sight. I'll just pass. You must die. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Strike Ooh, quick attack. That could be good. This will be quick. A gift from the river folk. Let's see. Would you believe he once fit in my hand? <laughs> so we got one fight spell out of their out of their hand. This will be quick. I have no equal. Well, that went terribly. That went terribly. Let us get going. These woods protect their own. Fury. Okay, I like the Mystic Shot draw. Definitely hoping for something better than Fury, though. Strike quickly, strike running. Yep, 
Yeah, probably dead. So imagine they have Concerted Strike and Barrier. Exactly sure what to expect from their deck. Not exactly sure. But I like our hand. Like these Poro Snacks, Aurora Porealis, give it all. A bunch of other little Poros. I like our hand. chances. And here's where I paint my constellation. Alright, getting rid of that Aurelian Soul. Plunder Poro. Challenger and Fury. Troll Chan has been pretty good. I've been I've been happy with the Troll Chan. Yeah, it's it's been pretty good. Yeah, so they missed their allegiance. So I wonder if this is like a Targon, or like a basically all Targon deck that's like just splashing Twisted Fate. Mayhaps. Best keyword. Looks like I'm going to be casting a Mystic Shot this turn, just to be able to use two mana. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Eyes open. Yep. So that was their uh, Bilge Water card on top. both times with that crazy both times yeah just yeah I could have could have played yeah so you're saying I should have just played that out then played give it all this turn and gone for lethal but with their deck with Targon with all like the Nexus healing and Hush. Just kind of setting up an, an additional turn. Hmm. Black Market Merchant was the card. Wasn't really expecting Black Market Merchant to be that card. Fury is not the best keyword, but it just fits with playing Give It All. Man, they have a they have a bunch of bilge water cards. They just want to draw a lot.
So it'll just be four fours. But still, four fours are pretty good. Okay. There we go. Back to six and to six. Back to 500. But stands for we cast victory. another give it all. And we win. No. Alright, as we talked about before, this is... This and, and like the Shadow Isles, uh, Freljord to control are the decks that I want to um, that I want to ban. I'm not mulliganing uh, Give It All this time. We did that against the Heimer Vi, not this deck, but the Heimer Vi, and it didn't work out. So I'll have like Mighty Poro on three. Ugh. Man, Mountain Goat's good. Alright, so they're gonna get a couple of free gems. The spell Shield isn't bad. I guess maybe I just play this right now and get try to get Spell Shield. Which means I'm casting Lonely Poro. Yeah, Messenger Sigil Sigil helps level up Twisted Fate, but then and also puts a bunch of um, a bunch of Targon cards into your deck to help you hit the Allegiance. It does that too. See if they have Pell Cascade. Hopefully not. So I could have done the, the minus to the goat so that Braum would survive five damage. But the problem with doing that is like if they do have another sharp side or pill cascade, then they would kill the Braum. And our opponents have really been running hot. Uh, that's exactly what's happened, Breeze. Our opponents have been really running hot. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. Follow along, little ones. I want the Poro Herder in here to be a blocker. Definitely use some Poro buff. You know, Poro snacks would be nice. Okay, there we go. Poro snacks. Very good. So, I want regeneration. Yeah, like, our, our deck hasn't really looked that bad over the, you know, our, our losing streak here. We've been playing against opponents that have been just Daylight having the best stuff they could have. And, the way. and so they've just, they've been running really hot. I'm not sure which one of these I want to play with just one spot. I'm not sure. I don't really want just regeneration. Elusive, that's better. Yeah, exactly. I want to have, yeah, I want, definitely want to have multiple elusive. We could have multiple elusive, could have multiple spell shield also if I just put over one of these Poro herders, but I can't do. I guess I could, I could play one of the. I could do Poro cannon. Uh. 
Okay, so let's see. So I guess I have to discard Lonely Poro. I'm sorry, Lonely Poro. Because in case of removal, I think I want two Elusive and two Spell Shield. What have Poros done to you? Okay. They're all four four overwhelm elusive spell shields. They've already played one sharp sight. Mystic Shot could be clutch. Won't need it. GG's. Alright, 7 and 6. Basically, Mole getting the cards that are bad against Avalanche. Which isn't necessarily Lonely Poro. Because we can put two little Lonely Poros out there and it's just, you know, it's just one card. Mighty Poro doesn't die to Avalanche. Well, now it dies to Avalanche. Okay. Besides the Aurora Porealis, I have six cards in hand. So if I cast Aurora Porealis, we get the four other cards. That would be ten, so we wouldn't be able to draw a card for turn. So we don't want to play Aurora Porealis this turn. Is it the Mustas? Who knows? Let's leave with the Braum. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be playing the Vi this early. We'll see. You know, like if they they play Trundle, you know, like this Vi doesn't really match up that well against Trundle. I just you know kill their one one, I guess. These old eyes still see far. Avros and Sentry is so good. I, that's another card I do not want to do not want to kill and let them draw a card. So we're looking for Spell Shield and Elusive. We do have Overwhelm though. Don't necessarily need elusive. Spell shield would be nice, but you know, now we're at like the point where we can start casting Aurora Porealis. So that should help out. These are trolls. Here's someone to be good. Keep that Avaros and Sentry from blocking. And Daring Poro is too valuable to let Daring Poro die to a Vile Feast. I had to play something, you know, because I have 10 cards in hand. That's why I didn't play the Daring Poro.
Let's try this. Alright, there's Spell Shield. Spell Shield and Regeneration. There goes the spell shield. Now just regeneration. And that's why I didn't play uh, anything else. I guess I could have let that happen and let that kill these and then have three mana thermogenic beam kill the trundle. But now I'm gonna just keep him alive. Plus, you know, this one will regenerate. It's always cold in the Brel Yard. It's good to be the king. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I didn't love like the give it all right there, because basically like this, this vibe dead to the trundle. The give it all would just mean we're all in on like these two cards. Yeah, they're gonna kill Vi either way. For the thrill of battle. So I could kill Trundle with this, or I kill Va, or I kill Trindamir. I guess, I guess I kill. Trundle. Yeah, Trinomir is still going to get a good attack. If I, if, like, if I kill Trindomir, they still have the ninth, you know, like, the, they probably have Trundle kill my Vi, so it probably ends up the exact same. But, um... I would take more overwhelm damage by going the other way. I can't kill them this turn. My plan, of course, is to kill them next turn. Stay out of there. I know the art on Lonely Poro cracks you up. It's so good. Lonely Poro that turns into a Jubilant Poro. Hmm. So can we stay alive for one more turn? That's going to be the, the big question. Stop ruining my spell shield. Would you believe he once fit in my hand? What <laughs> will I do, some friend? Death itself can't stop me. One smack will do. Keeps me at 11 to keep me from dying to atrocity. Now, where did that one run off to? All right, not dead to atrocity. We're obviously pretty dead to like a ruination, but not dying to atrocity is good. What will you have?
kill Trundle. Did have atrocity. Ugh. Hopefully, no ruination. A double atrocity. Yuck. Well, I tried. Okay, playing some Fearsome. Match number 15 today. This is going to be our first time playing against Fearsome. Haven't seen uh, this one yet. Today. Now, our... Our Poros can definitely be smaller than... The uh, Fearsome... Things. It's good practice, because this is not, not really a deck I plan on banning. I'm planning on, like... The Freljord Shadow Owls deck first, and then um, if Come if they're playing closer. a Targon, I don't bite. If they're playing like a Targon you deck, um, with all the uh, you know like Targon Allegiance deck, that's gonna be second, and then third would be Fen will be Shen Fiora. Those are the kind of decks I'm planning on banning. Maybe, Sh we honestly, maybe Shen Fiora over the Targon one. Us. I don't know, we'll have to see. So I think if that's good enough for our troll chant, I think so. Yeah, Michael, I'm playing this. You'll serve me one way or another. Level up Elise. That doesn't happen very often. That was a, something Let I was really thinking about whenever I made that block. Comfortable. Yeah, that's not something that happens that often. So my my you know I either go Aurora Porealis here and I could have double Poro snacks next turn, or I can go like you know Lonely Poro, Lonely Poro, Poro Cannon. You know, get three more Poros out here, and next turn I have Porealis, but then I only have one of Poro snack for next turn, which doesn't help against Fearsome. Seventeen seems like a pretty good life total though. You know, with these two mighty Poros in play, also like I I think that we're pretty safe. At 17. Tough is good. I like tough for the Porealis. So yeah, they didn't replace these spiders with any other fearsomes. Puts me down to six. Now puts me down to five. So now that that kills me through atrocity. Like atrocity kills me now. But oh well.
They don't usually play like a ton of removal. Let's just try this. Mm. Well, that's not a, that's not good. I guess I should have gone with the Borealis. Or should have just played another... Should have just played another elusive. I guess that was too greedy. should have passing. Guess I should have played another elusive out. I like this troll chant. That could help against potential atrocity. Maybe we won't have time for that though. Because I'm you know planning on playing a Poro Snacks course to grow all these things. I should put Wraith Caller into play. So I guess if I go Aurora Porealis plus Poro Snacks, I still have these three die. That doesn't change anything with those three dying. So maybe I just block and see what they do. You know, if they're going like Pale Cascades. Okay. I was gonna say I could see them going Pale Cascade and then me wanting to save Vi. of Porobot. Hmm. Troll Chant. Doesn't save them this time. It did have the Pill Cascade. Interesting, they didn't even try the Pill Cascade and just went straight for the Callista's Black Spear. Fury. I may want to keep. I may want to get more Darren Poros. I'm going to hold on to that. Still have another Callista? They played Callista, they played two Callista's Black Spears, and now they just have another Callista? Love it, that's a good draw. We'll take another Aurora Corialis.
it's gonna be a close game. But as long as they don't kill me with atrocity, I feel pretty good about our chances. Still have a lot of cards over there, but this Borealis is a great draw. Got another challenger. Just really big mist rates against really big poros. Scout. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can just play everything. Lead with the scout. Fifth Callista. <laughs> they had. Every betrayal sharpens our resolve. All right, let's give this a try. These two are overwhelm. It's fourteen overwhelm. If that's it, they'll still be dead. With that 14 Overwhelm Spell Shield. So gotta have something else. Looks like that's GG's, because they're not really playing anything else. Okay, there we go, GG's. 8 and 7. So finish with a winning record there through this video. All right, good win versus Fearsome. Aurora Porealis. What a great card. Okay, so through three videos of our practice, we got a winning record. Um, I, I've been I've been happy with our deck. We we have been running against some opponents that have been running pretty hot, but they're the the kind of decks that I am definitely planning on banning. Um, so you know, whenever we're playing against the the other kind of decks, um, our record would be definitely better. Um, so yeah, been been happy with the the Poros give it all. So far, so good. We're gonna be coming back with five more games, uh, five our last five games here with the deck and uh, seeing how those go. All right, but those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching. Some Poros give it all, and I'll see you for the next video.